The Sparky Beavers from Loyal Heights edged out Thornton Creek's reputation readers to take home the top prize in the Global Reading Challenge. It's the most challenging fun students will ever have as schools team up for the robotics competition. Plus, we've got news on the district's new digital learning tool and a partnership with the Chihuly Museum. All this and more coming up on First Bell. SPS. I'm Rachel Rosma, the proud assistant principal of Olympic View Elementary. And I am Akeem Fincher, Spirit Instructional Assistant at West Seattle Elementary. Thanks for tuning in to First Bill, where we chime in on news from around the district. For the next two episodes, we'll be celebrating SPS educators. All of the anchors and reporters that you'll see were nominated for the most spirited teacher by someone in their community. Now we've got some great stories coming your way, so let's get into it. In the Global Reading Challenge, students form teams and read selected books, and then they take part in a trivia competition. The contest pushes students to grow in their reading skills and their confidence. Here's Andrew Kreider with more details. The Global Reading Challenge is a reading incentive program for fourth and fifth graders in Seattle Public Schools. Nine schools advanced to the finals, but it was the Loyal Heights Sparky Beavers who took home the trophy. Our in an intense battle in front of an excited crowd, Loyal Heights edged out Thornton Creek's reputation readers to win the 29th annual Global Reading Challenge. Over three rounds, judges asked the team questions about each book. 24 questions in total. The students have a short amount of time to formulate an answer and submit it to the judges. Loyal Heights teacher librarian Colette Blongy helped guide the Sparky Beavers. She said having students participate in the Global Reading Challenge helps them discover a passion for reading. So there's a book out there for everybody and finding uh, your book is magical when it happens. And I think this gives them an opportunity that kind of forces them to read a book they might not have picked up and find out that they love something that they had no idea they, they would. <laughs> Throughout the entire challenge, the Sparky Beavers never missed a question, putting up an impressive 90 correct answers. Now that is something to read about. This is Andrew Kreider reporting from Loyal Heights Elementary. Back to the studio. When COVID led to the cancellation of after school activities, some student programs struggled to regain student interest. A few South End High Schools banded together to form a robotics team with students who didn't have access to it at their schools. Seattle Public Schools partners with FIRST Robotics Washington to offer high school students the opportunity to learn about building robots from industry professionals. Team Xbox 488 includes students from Franklin and Cleveland. Teams are challenged to build industrial-sized robots to play a tough field game in alliance with other teams. It combines the excitement of sport and the rigors of science and technology. But the lessons extend far beyond academics. Students form friendships and often return as mentors. Expo at Robotics is like a family. Everyone learns something new every single day and you learn together and you also get the supports from mentors and you gain these experiences that you wouldn't have otherwise. SPS has installed new tools on district devices that will help educators build a positive digital learning environment by keeping their students focused on the assigned tasks. Apple Classroom is a digital learning tool for pre-K through second grade teachers. It's designed to transform the way educators manage their classrooms and enhance learning for students using iPads. First grade teacher Madison Russell said it has enabled her to support her students in a more intentional and meaningful way. So within Apple Classroom you have the option to create reading groups or separate groups. And so I've done that based off of skill level so that I can launch students into a task that is just at their level. Um, and by doing that there's no wasted time with logging in or trying to find the app that students can just begin their material right away. SPS will introduce a similar learning tool for students in grades 3 through 12 in the coming months. For the next three years, the Cholule Garden and Glass Museum is partnering with the district to offer free field trips to the museum to second graders from SPS Title I schools. Nearly 500 SPS second graders have already embarked on a trip into the world of art and science at Cholule Garden and Glass this spring. 
The field trip included a tour of the museum's eight galleries, glass house, and garden with artwork by the renowned glass artist Dale Chahu. The museum provides free transportation and admission and participating classes. Eligible groups also receive grade level educational resources based on the museum's nature of glass curriculum. You know what time it is. Get ready for the rundown. The 2024 AP exams will be administered in schools May 6th through the 17th with additional dates for late testers. Students should check with their school's AP coordinators, AP teachers, or their counselor to find out the time and place to report for their exam. The exam schedule can be found on the College Board website. Do you know where you're going to school next school year? School choice results are now available. You can access your results or waitlist information online through the assignment lookup tool or the source. The Naramore Art Show celebrates over 200 works of art by students in SPS middle and high schools. The exhibit runs from April 6th to May 12th at the Seattle Art Museum. Can't make it in person? A virtual exhibit runs until the end of the school year. Learn more about these announcements on the district website. I'm Tiffany Bigham reporting from Garfield High School. Back to our studio. That's it for this episode. Be sure to tune in for our next episode where we continue to highlight educators from all around the district. To learn more about these stories, visit our website. But until next time, I'm Rachel Rosma. And I'm Akeem Finch. We'll catch you later for First Bell.